let's go ahead and we're going to check out Natalia's shop next. And she has got Moon Kiss Design. All right. And she is one of our Facebook people. Let's see. we got a few more people over here on Facebook. Unfortunately, we can't tell who is actually watching on Facebook unless they actively comment. So hopefully Natalia and Daryl are still here because they're the last on our list. Um, so let's see what we got here. Moon Kiss Design, Chicago, Illinois, 1,223 sales, top gift for shops. I always like to see that. People are buying gifts and they're leaving five-star reviews, so they like it. Let's check out this one. We've got a Howlite Mala Necklace, Calming Mala, Howlite Meditation Necklace, White Mala, Tassel Mala, Yogi Jewelry. Lots of great keywords there and uh, beautiful, beautiful stuff that you have there. Lots of um, Howlite. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. like that one. I like that one because now I can still see... Um, kind of get the whole picture here so on this one i don't know what if this is like a winner product for you oh, here we go we can see i love it when i can actually see their sales so i think this one right here let's check out the sales see what you're selling here mask some masks some aprons whole bunch of aprons though people are loving that apron so on this one right here i don't think this first photo is a great photo for this item um, because my first impression was like, man, how is this $150, um, you know, product right here? It seems a little, um, it just doesn't quite seem justified. But when I see it like this, then it seems a lot more justified. Now I'm like, oh, this is a really big, long, pretty looking necklace. Like, oh, wow. Okay. Very fancy. Very nice. I like it. I like it. So, um, I think this photo might be better. Although I would like one even better if it was around like a real person or something like that. But it looks so great because it's so white and your bust here is so, you know, it's very black, very dark. So it contrasts it really, really nicely. So that's that's great to see right there. And all right. So you changed the keywords after the last video. Awesome. So we got pink opal bracelet. Emotional healing bracelet, emotional healing gemstone, pink opal gemstone. Excellent. Lots of great keywords there. Ooh, I like that image. It stands out really nicely. The pink against the white look really, really pretty there. Looks very nice there as well. These ones are great. I like that one. We've got a little wrist measurement demo. We've got the different bead sizes. That's really great to see because then I can see, okay, this is how big the eight millimeter is going to look like on my wrist. Gives me some context there. This one listed on October 7th. So great. Good to see that one there. Um, and let's see. So you've got a whole bunch of different bracelets there. Um, lots of different bracelets. Your photos are looking really, really good. And let's check this guy out here. Jasper stretch bracelet. Okay. So this one, I don't see why you would use the keyword bracelet up here. If this is a necklace, um, I don't know if that was just a mistake or what, but it, you know, I, if it's a necklace, you definitely want to be putting in, um, you know, the necklace keyword on there instead of, um, bracelet. And again, I just, yeah, I think these, your necklaces here look super pretty when I can see them like unfurled. And I probably told you this. I probably said, figure out how to get your necklace into the thumbnail photo. And that's how you came up with some of these. I'm not sure, but it is, it is difficult. I mean, it's hard to get it all just perfect because you want to get the long one um, right here where you're showing off the, the whole necklace. How do people do a long necklace? Always a question. So whenever I see something like this, I just kind of look up what are other people doing and how do they get a necklace, which is a long item, into a square photo? So lots of people are putting it in a, in a wrap like this. I see. So a lot of people are doing it, wrapping it up, rolling it up, rolling it up. Um, huh. So I guess it works. I mean, it looks like a lot of other people are doing it. It wouldn't be how I would have thought you would do it. But looks like everybody else is, is kind of doing it that way, where they're rolling it up into a little coil. Um, so I guess maybe that's the way to do it, I guess. And when you click on it, I get, I'm sure they all have a photo. 
Oh, this one, I don't actually have a photo of it, you know, on somebody's neck fully, fully laid out. Huh, interesting. So I guess that's kind of how you do it, kind of how you do it. So what I would say, Natalia, you, you're trying a lot of different images and you've got a lot of beautiful products in here. And what you've got to figure out is how do you stage these items and what is going to make it win? So how can you figure out what's going to win? Well, you've laid out your, your necklaces here in these little coils right here. And you've got to find out, is that a good way to lay out your product and is that photo gonna win for you, okay? So one of the best ways you can find out if it's gonna win for you would be to pick maybe one, two, or three of your favorite ones, okay? So we could start with this one and this one. Let's say these are your, you know, two of your favorite items that you really like. And what you could do to see if it's gonna win and if this photo is a winner photo, in a winter staging is to come into this listing and renew it every day. And I see this one was July 19th, so it's a couple months ago. You could renew this listing um, every other day for two weeks and see what kind of results you get. Does it? Do you get a boost of traffic and visits and views? Um, do you get any sales? And if you don't really see anything in your statistics moving much, and you don't see any big increase in visits and you don't see any sales, then maybe this photo is not really the winner photo. Maybe this photo is not the best way to stage it. And you can try some other photos. So um, yes, you do have to pay for each time you renew one of these listings. It's 20 cents to renew a listing. So, but basically what you're trying to figure out is, does it work? You know, is that photo going to make sales for you? And if you go 20 cents and you did it every other day for two weeks, that would be seven days. It would cost you $1 and 40 cents. And that's kind of how you can test products and see, is this working? Is the keywords working? And, and are, are the photos working? What's grabbing people's attention? What, uh, what are people doing? Yes. Well, you can set it to renew upon expiration. Um, but, uh, I also just, yeah, you would just go in there and manually do it. So like, you know, if I was in my shop right here, right. um, we go to right here and you just click on any of your listings and then right here, renew, just like that, renew it. And, um, you could come in here and, and that's what I would say. Your shop is, um, you know, but you, you are doing well. It looks like you've got a lot of sales, 1,223 sales. So if you're, it doesn't look from looking at your, your sales here that you've done a whole lot of the, um, jewelry, which it looks like you're focusing on that a lot. You're trying to push the jewelry as your, as your next thing. So what you've got to discover is what makes jewelry sell? What, what photos, what price points, what gets people's attention and gets them to buy? And that's going to come down to your, the way you stage your images, the way you set up your photos and your pricing. And uh, I would just say, just keep trying new ways of, of, of setting up your photos, keep trying new ways of staging your images and try to find out what's going to grab people's attention and uh, get them to purchase. And let's see, Daryl, is Daryl still here? Daryl Cross, do we still have Daryl on the call today? Now, Mary, Mary also has a good suggestion. You could duplicate your products here. You could duplicate your listings and you could change your photos. So I see like this one here, you've got this photo right here. Now you also have this photo. So this one's a little bit different. You have this photo, it's coiled up. And then you've got this one here where it's hung down. So you could duplicate the same listing. Um, and then you could try out a few of those different settings. And um, you can see which, which image is going to get you the best results. And that's kind of what I would suggest. Figure out what images are going to get you a win.